All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's Wednesday Powerful Flow class. I'm, I'm, I always say that I'm excited about what's coming, but it's true. I, I always am. Um, today's flow is a really well-rounded sort of full body moment um, with a focus on lengthening and expanding and opening. So across the chest, through the neck, shoulders, hips, and legs. I hope that by the time we're done, you feel three inches taller and a whole lot calmer. Um, I'll give lots of options for shapes so you can find what feels best in your body. But if your body is asking for rest or you just like rather chill in a comfortable shape or you wanna take a further modification, please do whatever's gonna feel best to you. This is your practice. You are the expert of your body. I'm just here to offer suggestions. So um, grab two blocks, two sturdy-ish things nearby. If you have them, we'll be using them quite often throughout class. If you don't have something that fits that description, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to press play on the playlist right now. If you want to vaguely generally follow along, the music does not sync up in any special way. So make yourself comfortable somewhere on your back, however you like to start. So that could be in reclined bound angle pose with your feet together and your knees out wide might be broken bridge with your knees gently knocking together. Maybe you're going the human starfish route today. Start to find a restful shape where you can start to let your body soften. Rest your hand somewhere that feels comforting to you. And without trying to change anything, just notice what is happening with you today. Notice your breath. Observe the way it moves in and around your body. Notice its quality, its texture. Maybe it has a color. Spend a couple more moments here just riding your breath like a wave. Nice and easy. Just enjoying the feeling of stop, of having nothing else to do right now. And sense the possibility here of relaxing your body with this breath. Letting the forehead and the jaw soften. Allowing the shoulders to pull heavy down towards the ground. And then tracing the line of your spine all the way down to your hips softening along each vertebrae. Take a big breath in through your nose and an audible exhale out your mouth. Let's do two more like that. Breathe in through your nose, expand in all directions. A bigger exhale, letting go. One more like that, breathing in, breathing out, letting go. Good, you can keep your legs as they are. Send your arms out towards the side. We'll do some snow angels here to start to open up through the shoulders and across the chest. So with the backs of your hands resting along the earth, as you inhale, reach your arms out and back overhead. Big full body stretch here, breathing in. And as you exhale, snow angel your arms all the way back down to your side, moving slowly, making the arms as long as possible. Three more like that, breathing in, lifting the arms. Breathing out, returning to your sides. Take two more rounds of this on your own, moving slowly, thinking about extending expansion through the arms and chest. Good. 
Nice option to keep doing this for the next 60 minutes if it feels really good. If you're ready to move on, gently hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Find some small little circles with the knees, massaging the low back gently, keeping the shoulders soft. Switch directions of your circles. Noticing how weird it is to go in the other direction. And we will meet in a seated position next. So if you like to rock and roll along the length of your spine, you're welcome to do that a few times. Otherwise, gently bring yourself to seated. We'll be there in four, in three, in two, and one. Beautiful, we'll all meet in a tall seated position of your choice. We're gonna do a little bit of warming up through the wrists here before we get moving with the whole body. So clasp your hands together like you're saying, please, please, please don't make us do planks today. And just start to find like a figure eight here with your wrists. So you're just kind of introducing a different range of motion than you might've found yet today. Notice as you're doing this, if the shoulders have crept up towards the ears, can you relax them down? And let's um, release your grip, find the weird grip of your hands going this way. So fingers interlacing a different way and then reverse the direction of those circles. Couple breaths here, keeping the spine long, lifting up through the crown of the head, breathe in. And as you breathe out, release those hands. You can give your hands a shake like spastic jazz hands. Nice. Now send all fingers out like mine hands. We'll do some finger stretches. So send your pinky finger or your furthermost finger in to touch your thumb and spread all other fingers wide in all directions. You can keep your elbows lower. You don't have to do like freak out scarecrow arms. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release those fingers and now bring the next finger in to touch the thumb, stretching through all other fingers, keeping everything else soft. Breathing in, exhale, release, move to the third finger, stretching, noticing how it feels really different depending on which finger you're working, release. The finger right next to the thumb, stretching, noticing. And we'll move back out now. So releasing the forefinger, bringing the middle finger towards the thumb, move slower than you want to. Notice that urge to rush, to finish first, to be done and on to something new. Can you just stay here with the breath? Nice, when you're all done, spread all of your fingers as wide as you can, spastic mind hands, ah, and we'll make our way onto all fours. So moving towards a tabletop position, usually fingertips point forward, but to start here, let's do a forearm stretch. Send your fingertips back towards your knees. So your forearm, the under part of your forearm is facing forward. This is gonna feel really different in all of our bodies. We're looking for a gentle stretch in this underside of the forearm. So you might sink your hips back towards your heels to deepen this stretch. Maybe you're like, walking out through the hands like this, making it a little more of a dynamic movement. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Good, one more full round of breath here. Beautiful, now flip your hands so the tops of your hands are on the ground and your fingertips point out towards the sides. And again, here, be really gentle. We're looking for a stretch along the top of the wrist. You might just stay here, kind of like rock side to side. Maybe you start to reach the fingertips up towards your forearm, creating like a, a little like shadow puppet shape with your hands. We're here for two breaths, stretching whatever you are stretching in this shape. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice, release that shape. You might give your wrist a couple of little wiggles if it feels good. And now find traditional tabletop. Fingertips point forward, shoulders are over wrists, hips over knees. Spread your fingers really wide. Find some cat and cow pose here. Breathing in, dropping the belly, lifting the chin up. 
And as you exhale, pushing your arms into the earth, arching your spine, thinking about launching your heart up through your back. Start to find a flow between these two shapes, matching your breath to your movement. And keeping with this theme from earlier of moving slower than you want to, taking time to notice all the little micro sensations through the fingers, through the wrists, through every vertebrae of the spine. Find three more rounds here, moving nice and slow. Good, when you've finished up your third round, no rush, return to a neutral tabletop, tuck your toes, walk your hands forward about a handprint, Send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You have several breaths here to pedal into the legs, opening up along your hamstrings, even into your glutes. And while you are stretching, I'm gonna to talk to you about your hands. If you're someone with a lot of wrist sensitivity, down dog might be really uncomfortable for you. And you can help your wrists share the weight by using your hands. So spread your hands really wide like frog hands. Rotate them gently out so your index fingers point straight forward. And now grip at the mat with your fingertips like you're trying to palm a basketball. And then push down the big knuckles, the ones that connect your fingers to your hands. Feel the whole surface area of your hand here helping, but the very center of the palm popping up like a little suction cup. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, one more big breath here. And a big breath out. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose, walk your feet up behind your wrists. You can take your time, take as many steps as you want and then release your torso down. Invitation to spread your feet as wide as you want, knees as bent as feels good. Let the top of your head reach for the earth. You might sway gently side to side. Maybe a chest expansion is in the cards for you today. Spend a couple breaths here just exploring. You have a block nearby. Bring it into the center of your mat right beneath your nose. We'll take a couple twists and then what I've started to call ragdoll swimming. So get ready to swim. Put your right hand or your fist onto the block or to the ground. Bend your right knee generously as you breathe and reach your left fingertips up towards the sky like you're drawing a big bow and arrow. Stay here and breathe, lengthening through both arms. Now your left arm might not be reaching all the way towards the ceiling, whatever amount of open you are here, keep breathing, keep lengthening. You can gaze down if that feels better on your neck. One more breath in. And as you exhale, reach the left arm forward, stretching from the hip all the way to the fingertips and down. Good, now left hand to the block or to the earth. Bend your left knee generously as you breathe and peel the right arm up. Same thing here, a few breaths to expand your wingspan as long as you can. Energy through all of the fingers, breathe in. As you exhale, reach the right arm as far forward as you can and then down. And now we'll add a flow here. This is where the swimming comes in. So right hand on the block or mat, bend the right knee, breathe in, peel the left arm up. Exhale, swim the left arm forward. Switch out your hands, left hand on the block. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, swim forward, reaching, slowly stretching. Let's do one more round like that. Right hand on the earth, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, swim forward. Good, inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, swim forward, beautiful. Set the block off to the side for now. We'll use it again shortly. Enjoy two more breaths here in Ragdoll, finding whatever you need. Good, bring your hands to your hip creases, bend your knees really generously, lift yourself up to stand. Good, and we'll find mountain pose together at the front of the mat. So feet are a comfortable distance apart for you, 
somewhere where you can spread your toes wide, feel the entire surface area of your feet pushing down into the ground. Draw energy up through your legs, firming your quads and your glutes. Imagine you could hug your front hip points in. You, of course, cannot do that because they are a bone. But imagine that you could feel your core hugging in to support you, lengthening your side bodies up out of your hips. Reach your fingertips up high. This is mountain pose. Breathe in. Exhale, draw your palms to heart center. Keep this aliveness in the legs. Inhale, back bend. Reach the arms up. Lift your heart to the sky. Option to find goal post arms here. Option to bring your hands to your low back for a little more support. Think about broadening across the collarbones for one more breath in. As you exhale, find standing cat pose. Send your fingertips forward. Launch your heart straight back behind you. You might just zombie your arms straight forward or you can do this like stop motion. If this is too much sensation in the arms, drop the palms to face the earth. Inhale, back bend, firm the glutes, broaden across your chest. Exhale, standing cat pose, keep your glutes firm. Good. Inhale, mountain, reach straight up, neutral spine. Exhale, forward fold, soften your knees and melt down. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank and pause, high plank and pause. Plant your palms, shoulder width distance, step straight back. Step one, breathe and don't panic. Step two, recruit the whole body here to help you hold this powerful shape. It's not just the arms and the wrists working. Shift forward on your toes, energize your legs. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Imagine that you could tie a string from those hip points to your lowest ribs. Now tie that string tighter. Good, keep breathing, push your strong arms into the earth, feeling that aliveness through the shoulders, hug your thumbs towards each other to fire up your pecs so strong. You're here for just a few more breaths. Your first option when we take this as a flow is to skip this and go to down dog. Your second option is to hold this powerful plank. Your third option is to take a breath in. Exhale, tabletop, drop to your knees. Inhale, baby camel pose. Bring your hands to your low back, lift up through your heart. Send your shoulders back and down. Breathe in. Exhale, return to high plank. I'll show you your third, nope, that was the third option, fourth option from high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. You might drop to your knees first. Push your toenails down into the mat, slide your Palms underneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel your heart up. Hover here. Keep breathing. Gaze straight down to keep the back of your neck long. And pinch your shoulder blades together behind you like you're holding a pencil. Can you reach your spine one inch longer in both directions? Breathe in. Exhale, lower down. Good. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use your core, lift your hips up and back. Good, we'll flow through this now a couple times, matching breath to movement. You have lots of options with that last part. I encourage you to try a couple of them. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose, push your feet down, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, standing cat. One more like that. Inhale, back bend, open up. Exhale, standing cat. Good job. Inhale, mountain, spine is neutral. Exhale, fold, soften your knees. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank to baby camel or high plank to cobra. Inhale, cobra or camel. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's go one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, standing cat. Beautiful. Inhale, back bend, firm your glutes. Exhale, standing cat. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and pause or move on to your choice. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's move on. Inhale, kick the right leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hips. You're here for three breaths. You might let gravity just do its thing here, or you can start to draw circles with the knee. Switch directions if you're drawing circles. You're here for four, for three, for two, and one. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot through. It's okay if it takes you a couple steps to get there. Lower the left knee down. As you inhale, kneeling warrior, lift your fingertips up. Okay, toes can stay tucked or untucked, up to you. We're gonna be kneeling for a moment. So if it feels better for your knee, double or even triple so it fold your mat for, mat for more cushion and grab your blocks so they're on the other side of you. I could have told you that earlier, sorry. So we are here in kneeling warrior, hips both point straight forward, firm your back glute for support. Notice how the more you squeeze your left glute, the more you feel a little pull through the front of the left hip. Breathe and reach up high, maybe find a little back bend, that's up to you. As you exhale, half split, straighten the left leg, reach for the ground or your blocks and pop the right toes up. So here, you're not trying to sit all the way down. This is a stretch for the back of the right leg. Check it out, see what feels good. Might feel better to let your head hang down. Point and flex your toes, just check in. We're here for two more breaths. Good, different transition here. Tuck your back toes. As you breathe in, find crescent lunge. So lunge into the front knee, lift the back leg, reach your arms forward, up and back. Pause and breathe here, high crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your hips. Move your left hip more forward, right hip more back. You might put a gentle bend in the back knee to help keep your hips facing the same direction. Tap into this strong lunge in the front knee. Good. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Good, one more inhale, maybe find a little back bend. Exhale, warrior two, spiral open. Couple of breaths here to find your footing. So back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Find heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Strong lunge into the front knee. Now hug your heels in towards each other like you could scrunch up your mat. Good, send your fingertips long. Breathe in, send your fingers even longer. Breathe out, soften your shoulders. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back. Deepen the lunge in your front knee 1%. Yes, square both shoulders in the direction that they're headed. Make this a side bend more than a back bend. Take a big breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, reach the right arm forward and down, left arm high. Keep breathing. You might rest your right arm on your thigh here. Think about opening your chest towards the ceiling, sending the left shoulder a little more back. Good. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the legs. They're burning and shaking. We're stretching through the right side body. Exhale, extended side angle. Finding a little flow. It burns. Inhale, reverse warrior. Just one more. Exhale, extended side angle. You got it. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, Ooh, reach up, maybe back. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, wide leg forward fold, all toes point in the same direction, then swoop the right arm down. 
Good, you have three breaths here. Find stillness or gentle side to side movement. Good, inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lunge towards the right leg, towards the right leg. Good, inhale, high plank, step straight back. Exhale, choose your own adventure. Inhale, cobra or camel. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, we'll take it nice and slow on the left side now. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip, find what feels good to you here. Push equally into both hands, keeping your armpit squared towards the mat. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, move slowly and intentionally. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent, option to find a little back bend. Stay here, keep breathing. Decide if you wanna double fold your mat. Try tucked toes and untucked toes, see what feels better. Think about hugging your front heel towards your back knee, scrunching up your mat underneath you, strong through the right glute, breathe in. Exhale, half split. Hips go backwards, left leg straightens, toes pop up. The blocks are here for you if you need them. When we move through this as a flow, we'll send our fingertips back for airplane arms. Cool, don't worry about it yet though. You'll do great. One more breath in here. And a breath out. Tuck your back toes, inhale, crescent lunge. Deepen the lunge in the left knee, lift the legs and the arms up, good. Keep breathing here. Let's refine the shape, hands come to your hips. Move left hip more back, right hip more forward. Decide if a little bend in the right knee is helpful to you. With your hands here still, squeeze the right glute, feel that activation, reach your fingertips up, maybe finding a little back bend here, breathing in and breathing out, good. One more breath in. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Adjust your legs as you need to. Now, don't psych yourself out on this side. You know we were in this lunge shape for a while on the other side. Can you use powerful breath to support a powerful shape in the body and send yourself encouraging mental messages? If you decide you're already too tired or that you can't, that's how your body will perform. If you're nice to it, You'll be really surprised by what you can do. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back, lengthening the left side body. As you breathe out, extended side angle, hinging at the waist, opening up. Pause for a breath here. Notice if a lot of your weight has dumped into the left leg, pinch the pinky edge of the right foot to the earth, redistribute the weight through the right hip. Now we flow, inhale, reverse warrior, keep the lunge, you got it. Exhale, extended side angle, use your core here, one more, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten, release. Breathe out here. One more breath in to lengthen. As you exhale, left toes point forward, swoop your left arm down to the ground. Wide leg forward fold. Three breaths here, letting the head pull down towards the ground, relaxing through your spine. Good, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge back to the front of your mat towards your left toes. Good, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down, take your version of our vinyasa here. Inhale, up dog, nope, <laughs> camel or cobra. Maybe you're doing up dog. <laughs> Exhale, lower, inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everyone's imperfect, even your yoga teacher, especially your yoga teacher. All right, we'll move through this now just once, matching breath to movement. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Good, here we go. Inhale, lift the right leg. 
Exhale, low lunge. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half splits with airplane arms. Good, big transition. Inhale, high crescent. Lift the back leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Paint the ceiling with your fingers. Exhale, extended side angle. Two more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. You got it for one more. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Breathe out, extended side angle. I love it. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten front leg. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold, swoop all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards your right leg. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up, cobra, or you know, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Sometimes you just get too many options. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're doing great. We'll do this on the other side here. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, kneeling warrior, drop the right knee. Exhale, half split. Option to bring airplane arms. Good. Inhale, high crescent, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Two more, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. One more time, like a little piece of seaweed. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Nice job. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge to the front of your mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or camel. Exhale, lower. <laughs> Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out your mouth. One more like that. Breathe in and expand. Audible exhale. Lower to your knees. Find a little drink of water. Towel off. How are you doing? Cool. Thumbs up from Carl. Donkey's napping in that room. All right. We've got a little bit more. That's about how it goes. All right. I'm going to drink some water. You should drink some water too. All right, beautiful. So this next shape we're gonna practice together is, I sometimes call it stargazer flow. So you might recognize it as that. It's probably more accurate to call it supported camel flow, which we've been practicing if you took this little option. So. Grab for both of your blocks. You might not need them, but it's good to have them by. We're gonna be standing on our knees. So fold your mat as you need to, to have enough cushion. You might keep your knees parallel to each other or kind of find child's pose legs where the knees are a little wider. Bring your blocks back towards the outsides of each of your ankles. Maybe start with them on their highest height. We'll see how this goes. And you're starting up, bring your left hand to the left block. And as you breathe in, reach the right arm up and back, pushing your hips forward. Pause for a moment here. Firm your glutes to support your low back. Think about lengthening out the crown of your head and out your right fingertips, opening through the whole front of the body. Breathe in. And as you exhale, return to center. You might come sit on your heels. If it doesn't feel good, stay standing. Right hand on the right block. Inhale, swoop the left arm now up and back. Pause for a moment, firm both glutes, support your low back, using core strength, lengthen through your left fingertips, inhale, exhale, lower, we'll flow now twice through. So left hand on the block, inhale, sweep the right arm up, 
Exhale, back to center. Good, right hand on the right block. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, lower. This last round is all on your own. Move as slowly as you can. Really relishing every little inch of expansion you can find. Good, and when you're all done, meet me in child's pose, please. Good, toes touch, knees are out as wide as feels comfortable. Crawl your fingertips forward. This is uncomfortable in your body. Bring your thighs to touch and then send your chest kind of over the tops of your legs. Hands can come back by your ankles. Forehead can rest on the ground. Whichever of these shapes you're in, visualize your shoulder blades on the back of your back. I want you to pretend like they are wings like nestled in right now. And as you breathe in, your shoulder blades go out, wings are expanding. And as you exhale, they're tucking back in. So breathing in, tapping into that feeling of expansion and breathing out, releasing and coming home. Enjoy five slow nourishing breaths just like this. Maybe it feels good to give your forehead a little massage here, just rocking it gently side to side. Good, you can stay here as long as you want. When you're ready to move on, we'll be in downward facing dog. We've got one more little set on our feet, bringing in a little bit of balancing. And then we'll be on the mat, stretching it all out. All right, downward facing dog is where we meet. Inhale, kick the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, move slowly, move carefully. Big transition here. You can take as many steps as you need to. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift the left leg. Ooh, nice. All right, we'll take this into like three bus stops down the road. So this is bus stop number one. You can stay right here in one leg mountain. Thigh is parallel to the earth. Ankles underneath your knee, left toes flex back. Hips are in line with each other. This is powerful. This might be enough for you. You can stay right here. If you wanna move on, find eagle arms. Left arm comes under the right, palms weave to touch or grab a big bear hug. This is bus stop number two. You can stay like this, lifting your elbows up in line with your shoulders, sending your fingertips away from your face. To move on once more, breathe in. Exhale, eagle pose. Cross your left knee over your right. Sink down, reach your butt back. Find something non-moving to focus your breath at. Think about reaching through the top of your head, squeezing your legs together. Good, inhale, slowly unwind your legs, keep the arm. Exhale, airplane with eagle arms, start to kick the right foot back. And your airplane can be anything. Your body is a pendulum. Keep your arms and your legs kind of tied to each other. They don't have to be parallel to the ground. Take one more breath in where you are. And as you exhale, step the left toes back. This is crescent lunge now with eagle arms. Inhale, lift your elbows up any amount, finding a little back bend. And exhale, crunch elbows towards your belly button, sending your heart out through your back. Good. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Rest your right arm on your thigh here so you can use the push of your arm and leg against each other to open up your heart, rotating your lungs up towards the sky. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more round here, breathing in, breathing out. Good, inhale, star pose, toes out, heels in, reach in all directions. 
Exhale, goddess, sink your hips down. Knees track over towards your pinky toes. Thighs are screaming, butt is working. You can stay here and hold if thighs of steel were your 2021 goal. If openness and flexibility are more your vibe today, bring your hands to your thighs, breathe in, puff up your chest. Exhale, drop your left shoulder, gaze over the right. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, gaze over the left. Inhale, center, bring your palms to heart center. Stay for this exhale, you got it. Inhale, star pose, burst up. Exhale, clasp your hands together behind you. One more breath in, pop up your chest. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold with chest expansion. Toes in, heels out, let yourself melt down. Release this bind if it doesn't feel good. You might grab for opposite elbows behind you. Any intention to broaden across the collarbones and send the heads of your shoulders back will effectively start to open you more through the chest. Two more breaths here. Good, release your bind, fingertips towards the ground. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, runners lunge to the front of the mat. Both palms on the inside of the right foot. Lots of options here. You can keep this leg active. You might drop the left knee. Wiggle the right toes further away from your body and point them out a little. So you can start to push on the right thigh and open that way. If you want your blocks to help you find a more restful shape in the arms, all good. You have four more breaths here. If a quad stretch is screaming your name, start to kick your left heel towards your glutes. That might be plenty. Maybe you reach the right arm back to grab for the toes. Maybe not. Two more breaths. Good. Release any binds. Any twists, bring both palms back to the mat, activate your left leg, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, step the right leg back, lift your hips. All right, let's take this on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Big transition, inhale, one leg mountain, lifting the right thigh. Do, 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 do. Moving slowly, being compassionate if this side is tougher to balance on. You might stay right here with the right leg super strong, right toes flexed back, pushing the left foot into the earth, growing tall. To move on, one more bus stop. Find eagle arms, right arm under the left or a big bear hug. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Pull your fingertips away from your face. Stay here or to move on, breathe in. Exhale, eagle pose. Cross your right leg over your left, sit back. Lean your shoulders back so they stack over your hips. If you fall out of it, just get right back in, it's okay. Inhale, unwind the legs, return to one leg mountain. You can stay here or as you exhale, try it. Try eagle armed airplane. Send your right leg back. Maybe this is your airplane today. A little hinge, back body is strong, spine is long. Good, one more round of breath. You got it wherever you are. Gently step the right toes back, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Inhale, little back bend. Lift your elbows, squeeze your right glute. Exhale, little crunch. Elbows come towards the belly button, rounding through the spine. Good. Inhale, warrior two, spin open. Exhale, extended side angle. Rest your left arm on your thigh. Use this pressure to twist yourself open. Really notice here if the right leg is not helping. It's, 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 it should be helping. Push your pinky foot into the ground. 
Think about wrapping your hip down towards the ground. One more breath here. Good, inhale, star pose, toes out, heels in. Exhale, goddess, hands to heart, sink low. Bring your hands right to your thighs. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, drop one shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, drop the other shoulder. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, twist, beautiful. Inhale, return to center just for a breath. Exhale, sink one inch lower because you can. Good, inhale, star pose, puff up. Exhale, toes in, heels out, wide leg forward fold. You can grab that chest expansion again if it feels good. I offer you more twists. Plant one palm in the center of the mat. Peel the other arm up high. You have four more breaths exploring whatever your body is asking for. Good. Bring your fingertips back towards the ground. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, lunge towards your left foot, finding runner's lunge. Both palms on the inside of the left foot. You can lower the right knee down or keep it up. Stay on palms, come to elbows. You can make this about one hip, either hip, maybe the quad. Find four deep and slow breaths here, sending your breath to wherever you're feeling tightness and tension. Good, relax your face. Soften your eyebrows. Start to come back to your runner's lunge, both palms on the mat. Breathe in, activate the back leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lower to your knees, have a seat flat on your butt with your legs straight out in front of you. Toes flex back towards your shins with all any booty flush out from under you so you can feel rooted, sending your hip bones back. Breathe in, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, leading with the heart, reach forward, rest your hands wherever they land. You can bend your knees a lot. You have a really tight low back. It might feel good to wrap your arms around your knees. Give yourself a little hug. Come back up to a tall seat. Hug the left leg up, keeping the right leg long. Take a breath in, reach the right fingertips up. And as you exhale, right elbow comes outside the left knee. Send your left fingertips behind you for support. Half Lord of the Fishes twist. Use the pressure of your arm against your left knee just like an extended side ankle to deepen this twist across the back of your shoulder blades. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, one more like that. Inhale, lift through the top of your head. Exhale, deepen your twist. Good, gently return to center. Hug the right knee in. Send your right fingertips back for support. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, left elbow, outside right knee, finding this twist on the other side. Actively push your arm into your leg and your leg into your arm. With each inhale, think about growing taller. And with each exhale, think about rinsing out your spine.
Good, one more big breath. And release back to center. Good, one more forward fold. You can take that same one with legs out if you want to try a saddle stretch, send your way, legs out long. If your toes are pointing in, bring your legs a little closer together as you breathe and reach up. And as you breathe out, lean forward, crawl your fingertips forward any amount. You might feel an inner thigh stretch pretty quickly. Don't need to take this too deep. Just find what feels good and breathe. Good, breathe in and gently roll back up to a tall seat. And as you exhale, make your way all the way down onto your back. Keep your left foot planted on the ground, right ankle crosses over the left knee for figure four on your back. Flex your right toes back towards your shin. You might stay right here. If you'd like a little more, grab for the back of your left thigh to pull your legs towards you. Stretch for the right outer hip and glutes. Let your shoulders be soft. Gently let that side go, switch out your legs, right foot onto the earth, left ankle crosses over. Flex the left toes back to protect your knee. Decide if you'd like a little more, find a shape that feels good, allows you to breathe fully. Could you relax your shoulders more? Can you relax through your throat and your neck? Good, let that side go. Send your left leg long, hug your right knee up and in, breathe in. As you exhale, supine twist, guide the right leg across your body. Stack your hips on top of each other. Let both shoulders melt down towards the ground. You might gaze towards your right fingertips. Send your breath either to your belly button or to the back of your heart space. Three breaths. Carefully return to center, squeeze your right leg, trade it out for the left. Right leg goes long, left leg hugs in, breathe in and squeeze. Exhale, supine twist, this time left leg comes across. Stack your hips, then let your upper body start to unwind into the twist. It's okay if your left knee is like all sorts of up off the ground. See how passive you can make this shape. How little effort you can give it. How much surrender you can find. Hug the left knee back in. Bring the right leg up to meet it, stamping your feet towards the ceiling, find happy baby. If your shoulders lifted off the ground to grab whatever you're holding, grab for something closer to your body, maybe the backs of your thighs. Last few breaths here, if there's something we haven't done together that your body's asking for, find it now. And it is seven o'clock right now. So if you need to go, I totally understand. You have a couple more minutes. We can come out softly and quietly together. Hug your knees in towards your chest. 
curl yourself up into a teeny tiny ball. Take two more breaths of air here. And on your last exhale, let your body unwind into your favorite resting shape. Maybe how we started class, maybe something different. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out to completely melt down into the earth. No need to do anything special. Keep your attention on your breath, following it in and around and out. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Relax the sockets of your eyes and your nostrils. Let your tongue rest on the lower palate and soften even the root of your tongue. Notice your scalp, any sensations along the top in back of your head, just noticing the aliveness there. Feel your shoulders from the inside out. And as you draw your attention down towards your heart space, tap into that sensation of ice melting into water, water evaporating into air. Notice your hands. Tap into a feeling of softness through the palms. Noticing any sensations or heat or coolness. And continue this soft body scan on your own, noticing all the aliveness, breathing with your full body. I'll guide you out in just a couple moments. If this feels good to you, you should stay here as long as you can. But if you're ready to be guided out, start to bring deeper and more purposeful breath to your body. Start to bring little movement to your fingers and toes, gently waking up through your whole body until you find yourself in a big full body stretch. Moving slowly, taking time to notice and relish all the space you've built in your body just by showing up and breathing and moving. Roll on to your favorite side for fetal pose, keeping the same gentle, calm wakefulness, moving slowly as you press up to a tall seat. And we'll end together with three big breaths. So find a tall spine, keep your eyes soft or even closed. And your palms to rest against your heart, one hand on top of the other. Just notice your heart beating beneath your hands. Any transference of heat from chest 
to hand and hand to chest. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Again, breathing in, filling up. Breathing out, letting go. One more, breathe in, biggest breath of all Wednesday. And your biggest breath out. Bring your palms to touch at third eye center, merging heart and mind. I bow in gratitude to each of you for sharing this space together and to this practice that keeps us connected even when we're far apart. Namaste. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope that you feel good, a little more calm, a little more open. Um, I'm open to feedback and suggestions and requests. So let me know if there's something you'd like to see in the future. But until then, drink a lot of water, keep taking care of yourself. And thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye.